the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 versus the Pro 5i. Which one should you buy? We're gonna discuss the performance benchmarks in this video. If you wanna learn more about the build quality and usability, I have full reviews of either of these laptops. But right now, we're strictly gonna attack performance. First and foremost, from a battery life standpoint, you should absolutely choose the Ryzen processor. You're gonna get almost two hours more of battery life out of the Ryzen version compared to the Intel version. For some reason, Intel just can't get their game together as far as battery life is concerned. And we see that this year specifically. For the results you're seeing on the screen, I had the panel refresh rate at 60 hertz, 20% screen brightness, Windows battery saver, and iGPU only mode. And that is how we got the results and Ryzen continues to show off. Now from a performance standpoint, if you're a big multitasker, I definitely recommend the Intel version. For Cinebench R23, you can see that the differences are very minimal for single core, a 1903 versus an 1851. But when we get into multi-core, you're going to see about a 2000 point difference between the Intel version and the Ryzen version with the Intel on top. So if you prioritize multitasking over single core performance, then the Intel version will be the choice because really single core performance is nearly the same. Now let's go ahead and jump into the world of benchmarks and check out Photoshop. As you can see, Ryzen leads by about seven points, a 1,102 over a 1,095. Once again, not a big difference there, but if you're a multitasker, then you might wanna consider the Intel version for the little bit of extra bump in performance from a multitasking standpoint. Might be an advantage to you, or you wanna go for the battery life, then you consider the Ryzen version and forfeit a little bit of that extra multitasking capability that Intel is providing. Now looking at After Effects, definitely neck and neck. Again, the multitasking argument is what I would put into place here. For both laptops, if we wanna get more performance in both Photoshop and After Effects, I would definitely recommend an upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM for these laptops, either when you order it from the Lenovo store or when you go ahead and get it post-purchase, just order some RAM sticks online. This laptop is very easy to upgrade. You have two open RAM sticks and two occupiable M.2 slots. So that makes this laptop a great upgrade path. Now keep in mind, if you're curious about the exact pricing differences between the Pro 5 and the Pro 5i, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, taking a look at Blender Classroom, this is where the Pro 5 definitely shows off. And the reason being is unfortunately, spoiler alert, this is the RTX 4060 versus the RTX 4070. So it's very interesting up until this point, you haven't seen a big difference with that GPU difference in mind. I know that you might be frustrated at me that I couldn't get the exact same GPU. I try, I do my best, but I can only work with what they send me. I can make as many requests as they want, but sometimes all they have available is slightly different SKUs, but that's, that's what we got to work with. As you can see in this chart, that extra GPU power is helping by about 180 points. It's a pretty big difference, nothing huge. It's not like we have, you know, a 700 versus a 1081, but it definitely makes an advantage to go for the RTX 4070 for Blender. Now going ahead and looking at Autodesk 3ds Max and Autodesk Maya, you can actually see that it's not a big difference for Autodesk 3ds Max or Autodesk Maya, only about a 20 point difference between the two. So RTX 4070 versus RTX 4060, it's pretty close actually. Now going ahead and looking at PTC Creo, you can see we have a bit more of an advantage for the Ryzen version. About a 50 point difference between the two. Now moving on to SolidWorks, they're nearly neck and neck because when it comes to SolidWorks, these are both GeForce GPUs. They're gaming GPUs, they're not workstation GPUs or the Radeon RX series like the RX 6800S or the RX 6700S. Those types of GPUs work really well in SolidWorks. GeForce GPUs tend to struggle in SolidWorks though they're getting better and better each year. They're not optimized for SolidWorks, so just keep that in mind. Now going ahead and looking at the playback for Premiere Pro. 4K is smooth as butter. 6K is the area I'm really looking to proof out which laptop is better. As you can see in the Pro 5i for 6K B-RAW, we have 32 drop frames out of the 16,177 and 15 drop frames for 6K red footage out of the 16,177. Now what's interesting is although the Intel equipped laptop has a less powerful GPU, it's actually outperforming the Ryzen laptop with the more powerful GPU. You can see for 6K B-RAW, we have 49 drop frames. For 6K Red, we have 102 dropped frames. 
Intel's quick sync is really showing off here. And if you were to upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM, I think you would see zero and zero on that. But we'll look at that at the one month later reviews for both of these laptops. So definitely consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on those reviews. Now the export times is something that I'm very impressed with the Intel laptop. Although Ryzen is beating out Intel for the 4K to 4K export, you can see two minutes and 26 seconds versus two minutes and 56 seconds. When it comes to 6K B-RAW, you can see a 12 minute and 29 second export. One of the best I've seen on my channel so far for a laptop versus a 16 minute and 39 second out of the Ryzen laptop. So definitely considering the Pro 5i over the Pro 5 if you're a 6K video editor, you're gonna have an advantage with the Intel laptop for both slightly better playback, more importantly, almost four minutes of export time saved out of that nine minute clip exporting out of Premiere Pro. Now taking a look at DaVinci Resolve, we have five minutes and 27 seconds out of the Pro 5, and we have four minutes and 43 seconds out of the Pro 5i. So once again, a little bit better performance out of the Intel laptop. Now punch for punch, if it was me, I would personally go Intel. I don't need all the battery life. I prefer the multitasking and the faster export times over battery life because normally I'm somewhere where there's an outlet. I'm usually in my studio or downstairs at my kitchen table where there's easily a plug accessible and I prefer slightly more performance over the battery life. Links are in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase. Comment and let me know which one you're considering between these two. And of course, if you need more videos to help with your decision-making process, click or tap the screen here. Otherwise, see you in the next one.